Hey, this is Andrew Brown and welcome to another video. Yesterday we were talking about Microsoft exams. Now we're talking about GCP exams. Everyone is making changes to their exams. And so I think it's worth to uh, start talking about them. Uh, yesterday was Microsoft Open Book. Uh, and so GCP here is thinking about making at least the ACE 100% lab-based. Uh, so the reason I know this is that Chirog posted about it. If you don't know Chirog, uh, Chirog helped in the boot camp I ran with pricing. Um, though Chirog knows a lot more than just that. And Chirog is multi cloud, so I greatly respect uh, anything that they, they put out. Um, and so uh, the ACE, if it's 100% lab based, I kind of like that. Um, now, I, I shouldn't say that I, I ideally uh, I would want to see an exam that's 100% labs. But um, the ACE is something that has been overlooked by too many people. I think it's Google's best certification, even though it gets skipped over. Um, but the way it works, if you're not familiar with Google, they have, and if I can find the page here, they have a single foundational or fundamental, whatever you want to call that, a single associate, which I think is really smart, and then they dump everything else into professional. I like this layout. I like it. Um, I would say what I really like about Microsoft is that they break up the, uh, the fundamentals or foundationals into multiple certifications, but at the associate level, I like that there's a single one. And the reason why is that I feel that when you split up the associate, like what AWS does, they have three of them. What Microsoft does, they have two major ones and a bunch of other ones that, I don't know, or whatever, is that you, uh, you leave people with gaps in knowledge. But Google said, we're gonna just have one associate, which I think is really smart, uh, because it's just some things you cannot leave on the table. So like over at AWS, they leave uh, a lot of cloud networking, uh, a, lot, a lot of deployment on the table when people just go for the solution architect associate. And um, you know that is the issue there. When you go over to Microsoft, uh, you know, we have a developer, we have an administrator, but everything is about utilizing it from a practical standpoint, and that's fine, but I think that um, design is a big thing that's missing, architectural design. Um, you know, other, other things are missing, definitely. Uh, they're not coming to my head right now, but I'm just saying that Microsoft associate knowledge feels incomplete, very fragmented, and their exams are super hard at the associate level and not for good reasons. Uh, so I really like that Google has a single one. It uh, has good coverage for what I, what I would want a cloud engineer to do. Um, yeah, and with it being 100% lab-based, it is doing what it's supposed to do. Like, can you do the work, at least in a sandbox environment? Now, sandboxes are not perfect. They can't test for everything, especially when we're talking about governance where we're talking about security, um, flexibility of the solution chosen. But I would say that uh, I think it's fine for Google because Google's issue is that, and I'm not sure if they think this, but this is what I think, is that everyone goes for the cloud architect, which is the professional one over here, and they skip over the ACE because a lot of the same content that you study for in the cloud architect is in the ACE. So why not just go all the way and uh, learn deeper on some particular uh, solutions and go to the cloud architect. And there's a lot of motivation. There's a lot of reasons why people want the cloud architect besides that. Um, but yeah, the, the cloud engineer gets skipped over so much. But with, the, but with this being labs, if they keep cloud architect as um, what it is, which is multiple choice and things like that, um, that makes more sense because a cloud architect, you're evaluating their ability to choose the correct solution. Uh, whereas cloud engineer, you're making sure that they can be proficient to some degree in uh, GCP. Now I said earlier that, you know, I don't necessarily want things to be 100% labs, but for this balancing act, I think that this is a good move for Google Cloud. Ideally, for an associate certification, I want a mix of testing solutions. I want to, and we looked at that the other day where we had that pyramid um, of learning, but I would like to give people theory-based stuff. I'd like to give them lab-based stuff. 
and some kind of level of creativity. I would probably even include manual grading, even though that's a lot of work, it would really help people out at this level. That's why I did the boot camp, was to figure out how could we do semi semi manual or manual or filter out the people that are worth grading at manual. Um, and so, uh, yeah, there's th th those thoughts there. Um, another thing that we might need to consider is, you know, is this lab thing also a way to get people to use Google Cloud Skills Boost more? By the way, I really like Google Cloud Skills Boost. I really, really like it. When I want to learn something very quickly, I jump into here. Um, this was uh, Quick Labs before. If you're doing this in 2018, cloud, the thing that we're talking about doing, um, Quick Labs was the place to go when you wanted sandboxes in AWS, I think Microsoft, and Google. And Google acquired them, which was very smart decision. Very, very smart decision. But um, it's very hard to get this content in front of people because you do have to pay for uh, Google Cloud Schools Boost. I believe they have a trial, so you can use the trial. But um, it's a shame because I really like it. Not because there's so many labs, but some are just very interesting and well-written. And uh, if I had more time, I would go pick out some of my favorites. But there's like one where somebody literally sets up personas and um, uh, for, for the project or the, the lab that you're doing. And they really make it personalized to uh, like working on the job. And I really like that. But sandboxes are not perfect. Um, so, you know, that's my opinion there. Um, but yeah, for me, that means that I have to get on, on, on it and produce labs. Because again, I create uh, practice exams. And if it's going to be 100% lab-based, then I'm going to have to 100% code in uh, GCP labs for my platform, which I'm totally fine doing because we already have the AWS ones and I know GCP API good enough to do it. Um, but again, I don't want to overshadow how great Skills Boost is. And, you know, if you are thinking about, um, you know, getting certified, think about the ACE because, again, I think the ACE is pretty great. That's it. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao.